I am Sister Miller with Singing Time Ideas Weekly that go along with the Come Follow Me lesson. So this week we are going to have three main stories in our lesson. We have the story of Ruth and Naomi, we have the story of Hannah, and we have the story of Samuel. And really, I just went and cut these pictures, these two, out of my Come Follow Me manual and put them on a cardstock page. And this one just from the web, I'll put a link below. So what I was gonna have them do this week is try and figure out what song would go with that story. So you don't have to do these songs. Just think of what songs are you learning or have learned recently that you want to review with your primary that might go along with these stories. So first of all, I have Ruth and Naomi. I'm going to have them do Kindness Begins With Me, but I'm not gonna tell them. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna tell them a quick little thing about Ruth and Naomi and say, which one of these songs goes along with their story? Is it, I love to see the temple, Kindness Begins With Me, or a child's prayer. And then I'm gonna have a kid come up, grab the chalk, and draw a line from the story over to the song. And then we will sing the song. Then same thing with Hannah. Hers is gonna be a child's prayer. So we'll draw a line right there. And even though she was a lady, we're all children of God. And then the last one, Samuel, is going to be, I love to see the temple, because I'm going to explain to the kids that Samuel actually worked in the tabernacle. It was kind of like a temple. But you could use any songs that you want to go along with these stories. Now, my activity with each of these is, first, I love to see the temple. First, I love to see the temple. We're going to pull out our bells and our chimes. Kindness begins with me. Since this song is so short, you can actually sing it several times. And so I'm just gonna have the kids walk around and when it says, kindness begins with me, they gotta find somebody to give a high five to. And we'll sing it again, they gotta find somebody to give a high five to. Then last of all, a child's prayer. Since last week I wasn't able to do my activity with the flip chart, I'm doing it this week. Now this flip chart has like 14 pages. And so if you have a big primary, a lot of kids can hold a piece of the flip chart. So I was going to hand out the flip chart, have the kids stand in a circle, hold their picture down, and when I come behind them and touch their head, they hold their picture up. So as we go through the song, I'm gonna be walking around and kids will be lifting up their part of the flip chart. If you want, you could even add some more stories over here. Like if you didn't touch on some of the stories, from judges. You could add some of those stories or if you wanted to review some stories that went with the song you wanted to do, you could add those there and see if the kids can figure out which song goes with which story. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next week and put some comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys are doing.